Hello everyone, my name is TJ and I am so excited because I just got a new camera. As you see in the title of the video, I just bought the Canon G7X and it just came in the mail today. I'm really excited and what I figured I'd do, there's a lot of reviews online already of people who go over all the specifications of it and the details of the camera, but there's not as many videos of people just pulling out of the box and testing it out. So I figured, you know what, I got the camera and I watched almost every video I could find of other people testing the camera out so I thought I will contribute to the community and test out the camera and show it in different environments so that people can see kind of the difference uh, between a webcam and what this thing can do on the road so without wasting any more time um, I've got my pocket knife right here I've got my G7X over here so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we'll check it out together Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm gonna pull out of the box here. I got two boxes because I also um, I also ordered an extra, well, a memory card for it. I got a big 64 gig memory card for it. And I got an extra battery and there's supposed to be a case too. I don't think the case has shipped yet. It hasn't shown up yet, but that's okay. I mean, it's not a huge deal for it. And uh, I did get a refurbished one. So I didn't get a brand new Canon G7X. I was looking around online and I found one that was certified by Best Buy to be a good deal. It's an open box, but it's they said it's like brand new. So I went ahead and got it anyway because I got it for about $80 less uh, than I would have paid full price, which is nice, especially when you know you don't have a ton of money. So for future reference, if you ever get a chance, always look online. I know Best Buy has a whole place you can shop for just open box or display models, and other sites have that as well. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get a first hands-on here after I... Well, after I cut the adhesive here. All right, so I'm opening up the box here, and during this little uh, box opening here, I'm also filming with a couple of other cameras that I have. I figured a good thing to do uh, to show you all the quality of the camera is I've got the other cameras I normally film with, I'm filming also during this so that I can show you little clips of kind of what things look like from them so when I open the camera you can get an idea compared to a couple of other cameras what it looks like. So right now the webcam I'm using is a Logitech C920. That's the one I use when I'm in here in front of my computer and I'm making videos and doing that right here. What I've done my previous vlogs and some of those things on is uh, the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition which is this one right here as you can see this is where I'm filming a little setup and then I'm also filming uh, with a Canon T2i which is the video I do or the camera I'm sorry that I do a lot of my cinematic cinematic type stuff with the T2i, I love it so much. If you haven't seen the video I made, uh, the drop, I made that video with the T2i. I do tons of video work with the T2i and I love it. The reason I got the G7X is because the Hero 4 actually belongs to my church and I only use it whenever I have it with me when I'm filming church stuff already and so I just use it to shoot little stuff on the side and I don't want to use their camera for everything because that's their camera. The T2i is great. I love it. Oh my gosh, I would recommend it to especially a lot of beginner people who want to get into photography and videography. But it's a little bulky to just carry around everywhere. So I wanted a, a video camera that had great quality, but something I could take around with me, keep it in a pocket, in a little backpack, and I can pop it out anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring the GoPro over here so you can kind of look and see it from this point of view that this is kind of... Uh, Oh, nothing important here. This is what I see in the box, USA and Canada only, in case you didn't know. And here, oh, here is inside the box. And just like every other video I've seen, you pull it out and it's in this beautiful little uh, mesh bag, which is cool. I really like the fact that I got this. Um, I got this Canon, uh, this Canon G7X refurbished, uh, but it's kind of as if it were brand new they packaged it as if it were brand new still it's got the warranty information it's got the the sleeve and the bag and so it still feels like I'm unboxing something new and uh, here I'll go ahead and set this back over here I do this and this is it inside of the bag and man this thing feels so nice one of the things I was worried about is I didn't want to get a uh, a camera that felt flimsy or something that felt like maybe I could drop it 
real easy. Now granted, um, I don't have it here. I have a handle. I have this really cool camera mount that I bought at a flea market somewhere. And or no, it wasn't a flea market, it was a yard sale. And I that's what I used to carry the GoPro around when I was filming that stuff. I do use it to hold the T2i. I think it feels really nice. Uh, but this it can mount to it as well, which will be nice so that I know that the Canon has, if you've looked online, it's got a lot of camera stabilization, so it helps with some of that shakiness. Uh, but I've got a handle that will help with that. So here's a first look here, and I'll put it up. You can see in the webcam, this thing feels nice. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. It's got some weight. It, it feels like it's going to do work, which is really awesome to me, so I don't feel like I'm playing with plastic here. And you can see, I'll hold it up again real close, you can kind of see on all angles kind of how the thing looks. And I'll show it in the GoPro, you can kind of see it in the T2i as well. I mean, the thing looks nice. It's got, of course, the wonderful flip-up screen, which also feels really nice. Uh, the flip-up screen doesn't feel like I'm going to break it. You can kind of see it here, I'll show you over here. I just want you to be able to see this stuff on all the different cameras so when it comes time and we do bust this out and start using it, you know, we can do some work with it and you can see it comparatively to a couple other cameras. Now, from what I hear, the battery doesn't come charged or if it does, it probably has a little charge in it. So what I'm probably going to do, I still have some work to do today, so I'm probably going to go ahead and shut everything off temporarily, stop recording and charge the battery so that um, we can take it. I have to run some errands later going into town and I know that uh, Liz wants to be a part of shooting with the video or shooting video with this thing as well and we're gonna take it I know we have to run some errands so we may be going to Walmart and stuff like that so I mean as you've seen before I like to bring the camera everywhere and just film wherever we're at so I'm gonna go ahead and turn things off now I'm gonna charge the battery and then we'll come back here I don't know it, for you it'll be an instant so you don't have to worry about it we'll come back later and then we'll bust this thing out try it out first glance in here you can compare it to the different cameras that you've seen and then see how that looks and uh, yeah then we'll take it around we'll try inside we'll try outside we'll try if we go to Walmart we'll try in there and uh, you can get a chance to see it in the field going around and I won't do any editing this first time around a, a, like color correction or image stabilization I'll just show you what it looks like out of the box and when we carry it around I won't even put like a wind you know windscreen or anything on it so you can check it out so right now I'm gonna shut everything down and I will see you all here in just a second all right let it focus that looks so sweet doesn't it I look love at that it. that looks so professional I went ahead and I kept the my lights on you can see I kept my lights on like I was using with the other camera and that looks so sweet. I've got it on the little handle here. I'll show you in the mirror or something. But doesn't that look awesome? Look how beautiful you look with this. Thanks. And like it zooms in really close. Sorry, my face looks terrible today, but it focuses really close. Ooh, don't look at my face. It's nasty. <laughs> but anyway, I think we're going to take this thing out. We can vlog at the daycare. Look at my water. Oh, it looks so tasty in this camera. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna take it out and we're gonna go for a walk. Go get some dinner. I thought we were getting frozen yogurt. I want frozen yogurt. Well, we have to eat dinner first. That's okay. That's the thing. We're gonna go do stuff. We're gonna bring the camera in and see what happens. I've got it in uh, auto ISO so that I don't have to adjust it. It'll adjust to wherever we're at and the autofocus obviously and then I've got I don't have any extra colors. It's just 1080p and 30 frames. So we'll go do that and let's go walk around see ya you can see the uh little handle i got on it sweet here i'll turn the light on you can see better there you go carry that around it's got a little grippy for my hand sweet Whew. this thing is sweet oh it looks so nice out oh so nice i love it love it Hey. See your face. Hey. Are you struggling? No, I'm not struggling. Where do you want to get food from? Burger King's right next to the. I guess we can go to Burger King if you want. Let's go to Burger King. Oh. Hey. What? That was a good song. Good song for whom? 
We're gonna get some grub. Going to the BK, even though mm -hmm. I gotta get used to looking at the, the lens yeah. and not the screen because I want to look at the screen so bad. Looks nice though. Here, I'll flip this down. Show you outside here. Roll my dirty window down if you need to. <laughs> dirty window. This is our previous daycare. Oh yeah, that's where you. That's where my working current stuff. Place of employment is. Uh, we're going to the new daycare, but we're gonna go do some chow first. Burger King. Look at all those people there. Oh, there's Desiree. There's all kinds of people there. We're starting on the playground. I like Burger King. Burger King, if you're watching this, I like your food, but your grease hurts my stomach. So we gotta work on something with your grease. We need to work on something so I can eat your food without my stomach hurting, because I love your fries. Don't tell McDonald's. I have to get our Burger King on and I want to see what this Burger King looks like inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, this food looks so amazing. Hey, I'm trying to f film a video and you're eating the, you're eating the subjects of the video. Oh, look at those fries. Look, I'll get real close. This thing focuses beautifully. Go ahead, open the Whopper up. Oh my, look at that. Who needs a Burger King commercial? Just get one of these cameras because it makes the food look so, okay, I'm eating. So, we are back in the car and we got Burger King. Was it delicious? It was very delicious. It was so delicious. I don't think all of the other errands on our agenda tonight are going to happen. Liz gotta go do some work and I'm gonna go do some not work. But anyway, as you can kind of see, the video quality is awesome. The autofocus works really well. It's it's really, really quick, at least from what I've seen so far. Oh, as it's not being quick. Okay, there we go. It's really quick, and I like the auto um, ISO stuff, so it adjusts to wherever I'm at. And you can do things to adjust the brightness, changing shutter speed, and all these different things on the camera, which is really cool. I'm going to start filming a lot of videos with this, probably. Well, I mean, all of our vlogs are going to get filmed with this camera, but I really like it, and uh, I guess we have to get used to people looking at us weird when we're walking around in Walmart and we're talking to the camera, you know what I'm saying? It already happens once. This is true. Normally we go around with a GoPro, but this looks a little more official, like we know what we're doing. And I don't, the camera just makes it look like it. But anyway, I hope you like this camera. I'm gonna keep filming some stuff uh, the rest of the evening and uh, just sort of showing you the camera in different environments, if I can. I don't know how much time I have left to film tonight, but we'll see. I'll carry it around a little bit and see what I can do. You dancing for me? Yeah. Bah! Trying to get some focus. There we go. So I'm back home and I'm on my couch and I'm really amazed at just how well this camera does in the low light. Uh, what you're seeing right now, I mean it's it's evening time, it's relatively dark. Well it's not like, I don't know, it's kind of... Anyway, I gotta do some stuff so I'm going to put the camera down and quit walking around everywhere that, like a weirdo. Quickly though, I just, I walked into my studio room and I just wanted to tell you like, this is nuts. Like you're seeing me right now, this room I'm in is so dark. Like it's really, it's this is crazy. I've got, so I've got the ISO, it's probably set really high. This, the lens on this is an f1.8, so it lets a lot of, the aperture lets a lot of light in. And I'm just amazed at how dark this room is. And I don't, let me see, if you can kind of see it's like one of those corner, like if I, here, we'll go out here and I'll show you what it looks like from out here. So I'm in my living room where I was just filming at. And you can see, whoops, you can see back there, like, that room is dark. Uh, well, even on here it doesn't look dark. It, it's really, really dark in here. The only light coming in is a little bit through the curtains over here. And then a little bit from the computer screen, but the, the low light kicks in and the sensor kicks in and you can actually see me, which this is blowing my mind because any of my other cameras right now would be useless in this room. So there you go, that's another, I mean, the, this is amazing and I hope that you see this and you can see what kind of capabilities the sensor of this camera has. It is just blowing my mind. But anyway, for real this time, I'm putting the camera
camera down, but this is really, really cool. So it's nighttime, it's dark, but the whole room is lit up by just the television. It's lighting up. Look at that. Looks so good. Look. Right here, face the TV. There. Looks nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'll do what you gotta do. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go take this outside real fast and see what it looks like outdoors in the nighttime. A little dark on the stairs, but I just wanna test this last little bit of testing here outdoor uh, at night. Oh, never mind. Well, it's raining. But I do want you to see this a little bit. It is raining, so I'm not gonna go out in the rain, but just before I close this up and this whole video up, as you can see, I am being lit a little bit from indoor inside of my house. But even still, if you look at like how it captures outside, this thing is picking up such great low light. It looks amazing. And I wish I could do more with it today and tonight, but I just, I don't have the proper weather and all that stuff. But, uh, so yeah, this is a quick little look. Oh goodness, I got some moisture on the screen there. I gotta wipe, wipe it off, hold on. Okay, so that's just a quick look at this camera. It is amazing. I am in love with this camera and, uh, I look forward to doing so many great things with it. Lots of videos and coming, coming, coming. Got a towel. Right here. What are you doing? What are you doing in here? Soaking my feetsies. What's wrong with your feetsies? Do you want me to close the door? No. Oh, okay. Ow. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do for this video. I think that's plenty of video to show you the camera working in different environments. I wish I would have done a little more outside in the daylight, but there's more videos for that in the future. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the video here. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like or a comment, some feedback. Let me know if you'd like to see something in the future from this camera or something specific. Also, make sure to subscribe if you like to see more content from the channel. Check out some of my other videos you can see that I made. And look forward to more videos coming from this camera in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.